this is the static voltage stabilizer using PWM. You can see the IGBT power stage and control PCB and LCD display and you can see also AC input and AC output in that neutral is common and you can see the bug boost tra transformer which will add and subtract the voltage in series with the AC input. Now you can very clearly see the neutral is common for the AC input and AC output so that in series with the phase we can add or subtract the voltage and keep the output voltage steady. This is the block diagram of the stabilizer. In this you can see the IGBT power stage. In that uh, IGBT power stage having the PWM output which is going to the bug boost tra transformer. Uh, bug boost transformer is a split type bo bobbin that having a leakage inductance. That leakage inductance is using for the filtering of the high frequency and in the secondary we are producing AC voltage. And this voltage can add and subtract in series with the AC input. So the load, you can see the load in that uh, DSP control section will sense the output voltage and load current and input voltage and the IGBT current. So that feedback and act and output voltage will remain constant. Now you can see the operation of the stabilizer in a boost mode. Uh, this is a 50 kVA stabilizer in the boost mode condition. The input voltage is 180 and output is 220 so that 180 plus 40 volt will be 220. So the 40, 40 volt will gen generate by using a PWM and add with the mains. So uh, the output current you can see 50 kVA is 227 ampere but the input is 180 volt it is 278 ampere so the difference current is 51 ampere will flow through the IGBT. Uh, this is the operation of buck mode because the input voltage is more it is 250 volt. Now the PWM is ge generating in a opposite phase. So you can see the phase is the, it is 180 degree out of phase with the input. So the voltage will subtract from the from the input voltage. So you will get 220 volt constant and see the, uh, the input current is only 200 ampere because the voltage is 250. So the 27 ampere will flow back through the mains from the IGBT. This is the static voltage stabilizer from MEDI. This is the control PCB. This is the LCD display. These are the drives which is driving to the IGBT. This is the IGBT power stage. And this is the uh, drive output from the IGBT. This is the AC input. And this is the AC output. And this is the current sensing CT. Output current is sensing from the CT and this CT is connected to the control PCB. This is the primary current sensing CT and this is also connected to the control PCB. And you can see the neutral. This neutral is common for the input and output. And this phase input is coming and we are adding and subtracting the voltage in series with the phase in. So only difference power will process. Here I connected the oscilloscope. You can see the yellow is the input voltage and blue is the output voltage. I am varying the input voltage by using dimmer start. But the output voltage you can see it is remain constant. Then there is no waveform distortion also can see are seeing in the oscilloscope yellow is the correction voltage gen generated by PWM using IGBT and blue is the output voltage. When I am reducing the voltage you can see the yellow is coming in the same phase and now I am increasing the voltage slowly yellow came down and came to the opposite phase. So this voltage will add and subtract with the mains so the output will remain constant. are seeing the yellow is the PWM output and blue is the output voltage 
now i am zooming the cro you can see the pwm the pwm frequency in the 20 kilohertz now i am increasing the voltage the pwm came down now i reduce the voltage the pwm increased now i increase the voltage the less pwm so the output remain constant you can see only one frag and portion only output you are seeing the load response test so in the oscilloscope yellow is the pwm and blue is the output voltage now i am step by step increasing and decreasing the load you can see the output voltage remain constant actually the pwm is varying that i will show expanded pwm show see the output that is blue and yellow is the pwm now suddenly increasing the load now step by step reduce the load output remain constant increasing reducing now i will i will expand the pwm so you can close look in the pwm how fast is this responding so now you can see the pwm duty cycle now step by step i will increase the load see that very fast response according to the load but the you can see the output remain constant so like this tra transient response in the input voltage also sudden fluctuation also it will very fast the pwm will respond and it will keep the output voltage constant now also you can see the step by step i am increasing the load you can see the blue is the output voltage remain constant